Hello friends, my name is Ramesh and you are watching the How to Master YouTube channel. Today's video is about a review of a new web browser which is called the Brave Web Browser. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First of all, open the Brave Web Browser. I will put the link in the description of this Brave Web Browser. So you can go to the description and you can go to and you can download the file very easily. So let's start. First of all, when you will open the Brave Web Browser, it will not look like this when it uh, now uh, as it is looking now. It will look like and it will look um, and look it will look in different way. So uh, how you can change your web web browser to like this? So let's start. So first of all, you have to go to here with this three uh, dot button. When you will click here, you will see new tab, new private tab, and new session tab, which means that you can. And create all the, all these tabs. Also, new window. It will open like this. You will have new window now. And the next option is zoom and zoom uh, zoom in and zoom out. The bookmarks option, the shields option, sorry shield settings, and this the shield setting in shield setting you can control the ad block. Also cookie control. Also you can block scripts and fingerprint protection. The next option is brave payments it means that you can uh, make the payments through the brave okay so this is the uh, next action brave get past option also uh, downloads it will in here you will see the all of the downloads that you will that you have downloaded from the net also find on page in this page you can find anything click here and now you can search anything from this page this is first option. This is the print option if you wanna print this page and also the, ne the next option is settings. The help option from here you can see about where the check for um, updates and submit some feedback about this browser. Also fit where to close this brave web browser. So next now we have to go to settings and in settings we will see how we can change the look of the brave web browser. So let's begin. First of all, we have the Brave Start page, which means that when you open the Brave Web Browser, then which what page should open in the Brave Web Browser? I have selected Home page, and the next uh, in the next here you will see a new tab shows. For example, if you open the new tab, then what it shows? It will show you the blank page, the home page, or the dashboard. If you click on the dashboard, then you will see the then you see the, the option see the page new tab like this. So this option is great for you. So at the dashboard, the dashboard will show you the trackers block, air blog, HTTPS, upgrades, and as many times here like these options. And on here you will see the time, the some um, basic web pages, the settings, the bookmark bar, and the history page. Okay. So again, go to the preferences, and in here your home page. Now select your home page, which means that. When you open the web browser, what page it should open? So I have written www.google.com.pk, so it means that when you I will uh, open the browser. So first, let me open the browser. When I will now open the browser, now it will go directly to www.google.com. Like this, as you saw, it went to straight to google.com. So next option is in yeah, click on the three dot button and set it. And preferences. We have show home button or URL bar. This is the URL bar, and you will see the home button here. If I turn off this, now the home button is um, where wished, and the home button is uh, hidden. And when I will I have cl click again, the home button is visible again. Okay. So next, I will hide the menu bar by default. It means that this is the menu bar, and if you will click it here, then it will be disappeared. And if I click it again, then the home bar will again show. The next is save my download here. It means that where you wanna store the downloaded files. So in here we have the always ask me where to save file. It means that it will ask for me to whether uh, where to save the file. So I am going to click it again. So I I want. I want this browser to save the files automatically to this default location. Okay, so bookmarks bar in the bookmarks bar. Now, what should you what what options you want to 
show on the bookmarks bar. I have selected five icons only, which means that there are only five items will be shown here like this. Okay, so there are only the shown, uh, five items will be shown here. Then in, the, in here, the next option is always show the bookmarks bar. Next, language. Which in which language you wanna uh, view this? Uh, you wanna view this in browser. Next, go default zoom level. It will zoom your browser. Default by default, it is hundred percent. Next, import browser data, which means that you have you can import the browser data from the explorer or any other browser. Next, search this in default search engine. You have to select from here. I have selected Google. You can select any of the default search engine. Also, we have, there are some more options: shorthand matches, so history matches, so bookmark matches, and auto can be search term as you type. Okay. Next, tabs. You have here for the tabs. You have the option. You have this option. It's called tabs. Number of tabs per tab set is 20. When closing an extra tab, select its parent tab like this. When I will close this tab, then it will open the parent tab. Okay. Means if I am here and when I will click here, then it will show this, not this. So, mean you know how it works. All uh, next, we have all the uh, applications, uh, all the options switch new tabs, switch show tabs, and page theme color, show tabs view on hover. It means as tab to view on hover, which means if I hover the mouse over here, then it will may show me the tab to view. Next. Show images on dashboard. It is showing, it is showing images. If I click here, then no image will be shown here, as you can see. And if I click on here again, and again I click here, so now it will show you the images like this as it is showing. Okay. Next, security for your security. Clear the following data type when you close Brave. When you close Brave, all of these options will be done. Browser history will be clear, download history will be clear, cache images and files will be clear, all site tools will be clear. Also, you can have all these, uh, these three options out of complete data, out of field data, and state ID. I have selected all of these four options. You can select all of the options if you want. Next, password and forms. Password manager is dash, dash lane. Dash lane is an application which store all your passwords. Also, you have the very building password manager which will save all your password. Next, autofill setting. It means that it will autofill your you know, uh, the Amazon address for anything. Which, uh, for example, uh, if I go to Facebook and if I have to fill the name and username, then it will automatically fill the data without even typing a single word. Full screen content. When, for example, if when there is a video which is op which needs to open the full screen, so it will it, it needs to ask needs to ask me if I want that I want to it in full screen or not. Next, autoplay media, which means that you have saw uh, you have shown this video on Facebook when you will when you go to move to a video in the Facebook, then it automatically runs without your permission. So I selected always ask. So now we will ask. Me, whether I need to open the video or not. Also, there is a sync option that you can sync this device to other devices like your Android device, your Linux device, your Mac device, etc. If you have to simply sync and click on the sync and device, then it will uh, ask you for the name. You have to type a name and then you will see a board like this. In here, you have to click sync and device, click show secret QR code. You have to scan this QR code from the Brave application in your mobile phone, and then your mobile phone device will be synced to this mobile phone Brave application will be synced to this computer with browser. Okay. Next, sync data. Sync the following data: which means browser bookmarks, save site, and browser history. I want all these three options to be synced with my mobile device. Next option is clear data. So you uh, you want to clear or not the data? Payments. You can pay through the Brave method via Brave Payments Beta. 
it means that first you have to add, add the funds to your Brave wallet and then in from here you can make payments to anywhere you want next extensions you have these extensions from the new extension and you can also get an, uh, also the next other options in plugins you can you have to um, you can install the plugins from there are two I, I actually the plugins enable flash support and enable google with wide one support these are two plugins the flash player supports uh, the flash support will give you the uh, ability to run the flash application and website in advance you have these options you can check these options ok so this is the web browser i hope that you like my review of this browser if you like this video then please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel also don't forget to hit that bell icon because the bell icon will give you by because by tapping on the bell, um, bell icon you will get the notification for my channel so thanks for watching this video again i will catch you in the next video